and the synchro leader before coming back in 2024, uh, 2022 to fill in for one of the personnel that was uh, unfortunately taken ill. Coming in from the left you now see six and seven moved either side, the smoke will come on for Big Vixen. Bundy is a former Typhoon pilot. He was also a qualified flying instructor on the Takano, where he was the Takano display pilot in 2012. There are actually 11 pilots in the Red Arrows. We have Reds 1 through 9 performing for you today. It's myself, Red 10, former Tornado GR4 pilot, former qualified flying instructor on the Hawk Team Mark 2. And of course, the military unit, we are commanded by Officer Commanding Rafa, that's Wing Commander Adam Collins. He was my predecessor as Red 10. Former Tornado GR4 pilot and he also flew the F-111 while on exchange with the Royal Australian Air Force. Reds 8 and, now make, 8 and 9 now make themselves rearwards and in this year it's no secret to anyone who follows aviation and military history. We celebrated the 80th anniversary of Operation Overlord which of course was the storming of the Normandy beaches. And we heard Mike talking about the Spitfire taking the first kill on D-Day. And in from the right to commemorate that event, this is Spitfire. On the right hand side of Red 1 is Red 2, that's squad leader Chris McCann. He's in his first year on the team, out of training he was taken directly as an instructor on the Takano. Once he'd finished his time as an instructor, he then joined the world famous 617 Dan Buster Squadron on the GR4, where he actually received an Air Force Cross for service on operations over Afghanistan. His opposite number on the left hand side is Flight Lieutenant Dustin Wales, known as Dusty, originally from Zimbabwe, former Typhoon pilot, having flown with 11 Squadron, an instructor on 29 Squadron before joining the Test and Evaluation Squadron, 41 Squadron, all based at RAF Coningsby. The smoke is on reds four and five as either side of the centre stem make their way rearwards. And in November last year, it was the 20th anniversary of the final flight of one of the most iconic and famous aircraft in aviation history. As the team roll out, there is no mistaking the shape of the wonderful, majestic and iconic, this is Concord. We have a team of over 140 personnel. 
now with over 120 of them are the engineers, the logisticians, the administrators, the PR, and they are known as the Blues, named after the colour of their flying coveralls that they wear. And a number of them are at our PR tent, PR tent at the back of the show, so please go along and say hello. You now see the wings of flex forward, six and seven moved rearwards and apart for the colourful Phoenix. <laughs> In the middle of that right hand wing is Red Bull. That's flight attendant Ollie Suckling. Ollie's in his second year on the team. He was Red Bull last year and he remained as Red Bull and took up the position affectionately known as Uncle Enid. And this means he helps Red One through winter training, mentoring and leading the new pilots through their winter training all through the winter training period. And Red Four would also like to give a shout out to Alcana and Ariana from their fave cousin Ollie. And also his say hello to his uncle Christopher and his auntie Jane. You now see Reds eight to nine move their way rearwards and the team will form two distinctive rows. Coming in from the right, the smoke will come on for the Chevron roll. <laughs> is Red 5, Flight Lieutenant George Hobday. George is in his first year of the team, a former Typhoon pilot flown 11 Squadron at RAF Coningsby, and he has also taken part in operations over Syria and Iraq, as well as taking part in the Eastern Airborne, Eastern European Air Policing Patrol in the face of the aggressive Russia. As I said, we have a team of over 140 personnel. Oh, we talked about the Blues. Inside the Blues, there are 11 individuals who get to fly in the back of our aircraft in between displays when we cannot take the full engineering complement. And they are known as Circus. One individual with me at every display is Circus 10. That's Corporal Dye all the way over to the right. They are filming the display for debriefing and safety purposes. And he's also responsible for many of the images and videos you see across social media. Looking front to the left, you'll see the team now with eight and nine in the rear. For one of the most popular, if not the most popular show, it's the colourful, the dynamic Tornado. The aboard call is made by Red Nine as Red Eight and Nine, Red Smoke for Red Eight, Blue Smoke for Red Nine, rolling around the formation as Red One bends the team around the left, changes the colour to fly the tornado down the line. famous five and red six seven eight and nine off to the left they are now known as Hannah named after squad leader Ray Hannah you saw his Spitfire flying earlier he's one of the early members of the Red Arrows the only red one to lead the team for four years he took the team from a seven to a nine and also formed our trademark diamond nine Enid from the right Hannah from the left for the five four cross said 
the Red Arrows were formed in 1964 with our first public display in 1965. And we were actually formed from three different teams. We were formed from the Red Pelicans, the Black Arrows and the Yellow Jacks. We took the Red from the Red Pelicans, the Arrows from the Black Arrows to give us our name. And then we took the aircraft from the Yellow Jacks. Coming in from the right, Enid will now create a shape to represent and pay tribute to that aircraft. This is Nat. Today. And the Hawk is actually 50 years old this year, the, the Team Mark 1. And a lot of the pilots that have flown her have a fun favourite with her. She's extremely agile, extremely capable, and great fun to fly. Look directly to your front. You can see the smoke from Hannah, red and blue on from 8 to 9. Get your cameras ready for the Hannah break. the guy climbing up now red six flight lieutenant Stu Roberts Stu is in his third and final year on the team he's a former typhoon pilot he has flown in positions two and seven and six and on the typhoon he flew with 11 and 12 squadrons at RAF Coningsby each pair will now dive down to approximately 100 feet above the airfield they have a closing speed of over 800 miles per hour looking to pass each other within only 30 meters that's 100 feet wingtip to wingtip Get your cameras ready. This is the Hannah Pass. Synchro pair 
and leads to our rear. Coming in from the left hand side, you've got Enid Nick now be joined by Reds 8 to 9. As Reb Cole 1 pulls him up once again over 450 miles per hour, he'll roll to the right. Get your cameras ready for the Vixen vertical break.
extremely busy year for the Red Arrows. 17th of August we fly over to Canada and we spend approximately five weeks there before eventually coming back to the UK on our final show of 2024. We'll be on the 5th of October at Duxford. As Enid leaves to your right, look directly to your front. You can see Hannah running back in with red six and seven at the bottom and seven, eight and nine on the top. As I said, our 60th anniversary, our Diamond Jubilee season. The smoke comes on as reds eight and nine draw something wonderful in the sky to celebrate our Diamond season. As reds eight and nine complete their drawing in the sky of 60 to celebrate our 60 display season. approximately 1,500 feet. They'll make their way back towards the display line for their final pass once again at only 100 feet above the airfield with a closing speed of over 800 miles per hour looking to pass within only 30 meters of each other. Six from the right, seven from the left for the synchro double roll. Royal Air Force Aerobatic Team, it's the Red Arrow! 